I'd say arguably one of the coolest things about California skateboarding is not just how many skate parks there are, but almost at every skate park there just happens to be spots all over the place. So I'm gonna warm up at the skate park, and then I'm just gonna skate skate spots that are like at the same park because pretty much any park, most businesses, complexes, and schools have spots. So This rail's been broken in so many different spots. So this one's broken like five times. This one right here, it's been broken like a hundred times. And then it also broke on the rail. So when you grind over it, sometimes you get caught. I just can't see the rail, the stripes. Yeah, that's why I hate this part. The stripes are so tough. Oh. It's sticky. It's really sticky. I wonder why. No one skates that like a pledge. I don't want any slack out here. It's gonna be alley rail or body rail. Because <laughs> I'm desperate to do something. But actually, see, it feels like it wouldn't be that bad. This is like a Haley Isaac video. Yeah. Learning a slack out trick. A really cool one at that. Oh. Okay, now that we got that covered. Damn, that was only like 20 seconds. You need to learn another trick. There's okay, what other trick? How about straight no can fly crossfoot? That's really hard. And only like skilled skaters can do that. <laughs> I haven't tried a fakie yet. Oh, there's no way I'm not trying that. Oh yeah, that was first try. Battle Royale. Yep. I'm scared. Oh, I don't know if you like, before you've ever like dated anyone or like talked to your crush, it feels like, you know, like you have like all this confidence, you know exactly what you're gonna go do and say. And then like when you get there, like it just goes out the window. That's what this feels like. Like I, like I'm like super like, yeah, I know exactly what to do. And the second I go to take my foot off, I like, I go blank and like freeze up, such stuttering. Too slow. Oh, oh you cleared her by like three feet. I like did it. You did an fly. You're doing it so good. It's kind of annoying. Oh, 
You're focusing on the, sh on the cross foot too much. Do I'm it. trying to tell you how to do a trick and I haven't even landed it yet. You're talking to me like you're a guy at the skate park. All right, I'll take one try. You already won though, because I went first, right? Hell yeah. I can edit it. <laughs> All right, so. It's like you forget to do the cross foot midair. You're like, oh yeah, straight, no comply, I got this. I feel like since you didn't give me gas money for San Diego, we'll call that a tie. Um, Good game, better luck next time. Well, we tied, so. Yeah. No, I won. It was like a tie, but it was like in my favor. It was like a tie in the sense that like, I'm black, you're white, and we drew the game. Like I get half a point in most most tournaments. <laughs> Is he still recording? When yeah, you drop the phone? I dropped you it. dropped this phone so many times. I've, that was the first time I dropped your new, brand new iPhone 13. Pro. I have no idea what I'm doing. You're doing it. Yeah. Staple gun. mess around outside the park. That's where the real action is. In the streets. Whatever, for whatever reason. Actually, there's a lot of logical reasons, but Smith and 5.0 are way more significantly easier than front 50 50 or back 50 50. So I'm gonna do a quick 50 50 and then we'll skate other stuff. Save the hardest for last. See how it perfectly lines up in the holes? But if you go cross lock a little bit, that little bit of difference, see that? That puts a wheel on each one. Yeah, I thought you did Smith grind on the last one. Yeah, that's 50 50, was just really crossy. I tried with 50 50, like I tried 50 50 one session, it was like, oh, obviously that doesn't work. Um, but then, like, I was just like, what was I trying? Oh, I was just trying to ollie on and ride across one of these. And I was like, oh, I can ride across diagonal. And I was like, no. Well, then if I 50 50 cross lock, that should just go. Since it's like slightly slanted and goes downhill this way, I feel like you could like do manual tricks and sort of like swerve back and forth to get more speed.
always look at this thing because the bathrooms are right here. But every time I pass by, I try to get someone to skate. Last time I was here, I got Craig. He like 50 50 the inside of it because it's like straight. But I see these marks on it like this. And since it keeps kicking you out, I'm trying to figure out what trick was even really getting done to go down it. I'm assuming board slide or lip slide tricks, but I mean, you see, it's gonna push your wheel off that way and then you're gonna land like too dippy, it looks like. I almost feel like you would need like a longer board, but I'm gonna try to play with this in a second. First, I'm gonna skate like a drop down manual pad. Man, fakey shop switch Manny would be cool in this. I think anything would be cool. <laughs> I thought regular manual was cool. Let's see how hard it is fakey shop out. Ooh! Like now that I'm the oldest person ever, I feel like I have to like divvy out my energy and I want to keep skating today because we're going to, <coughs> go to another park. This is taking a lot of energy, so I'm kind of like, kind of lost this. It's not the biggest deal. Like I said, it was like kind of on the cusp of whether I'd actually want to film it. Now that I've tried it a couple times, there's actually something else that I want to try that's somewhat similar that I'll actually film for a part. So save the energy for that. That's yes. hard. Perfect little imperfect Wally Rock. It's a little bit off the course, but I feel like this little will toss you back. And so I stopped skating. I didn't think anything of it. I was like, man, that bowl is just crazy slippery. And then we ended up leaving. Um, I knew not to go back in the bowl because it just felt, I, I just assumed that it was like crazy dust or something like that. And then when I left, I got a message randomly responding to one of my stories being like, oh yeah, Manzanita got closed for a little bit because someone poured oil in the bowl. And uh, then I had someone else tell me that like, yeah, like I went and skated that later that day when I was back open again, and it was still super slippery. And I imagine this is most likely something similar to uh, a video I put out a while ago where someone went to a skate park and chiseled out the coping. Just like for real in the skate park because someone had either a disagreement with one of the skaters or it was just like some dumb kids just trying to be like, oh, this would be funny if we put oil in the bowl and then someone got hurt. Uh, I'm assuming it wasn't like skaters trying to like have a good time in the bowl and be like, oh, what would it be like if we skated with oil? But I do think it's kind of interesting that the day before that, I you know filmed that video at that yellow curb spot, which was like, you know, I called the video RIP the best skate spot. I didn't even actually talk about the fact that that spot is completely gone now they tore it out literally the day after i went we went way out of our way just to go to that spot i've been wanting to skate there for a while and the next day they demolished the, the spot when i got the first comment about it being gone i thought it was like a joke and then willie santos was like yeah no r.i.p that spot's actually gone so i ended up changing the title of the video because i was like oh i'm glad i actually got to skate it literally the day before so uh, shout out to lily for letting me know uh where that spot was but anyways yeah how about don't put oil in, in the bowl because that could have been way worse I hope no one got seriously hurt. I know that fall that you just saw me take wasn't the gnarliest, but it definitely sucked. Definitely knocked the wind out of me. Uh, luckily it wasn't worse. So yeah, that's the end of the video.